Hello everyone, my name is Shelby Esparza, and for this week's discussion, I have chosen to review the book Nothing Stopped Sophie, the, so the story of unshakable mathematician Sophie Germain. The story was written by Cheryl Bardot and illustrated by acclaimed artist Barbara McClintock. Before writing children's books, Bardot used her writing skills in a very different way. She has scripted several marketing slogans, magazine articles, press kits, and newsletters for various industries. Only within the past 10 years has Bardot even attempted to write children's literature. Cheryl Bardot noted on the homepage of her website that she sees herself as an emerging author. However, she has already taken she has already made a huge impact on the nonfiction children's book community by receiving numerous awards for her few books. These awards include the Bank Street's Best Children's Book of the 2011 Selection, the Outstanding Children's Book Award from the Animal Behavioral Society, and the Orbis Pictus Honor Book Award from the National Council of Teachers of English. The book I chose received the Golden Kite Award for Picture Book Illustration this year, which is actually one of the reasons I chose to talk about this particular story. After reading several different non-fiction non books, this one really stuck with me because of the elaborate and exciting illustrations, fun, and way, fun way in which the, present, the information was presented, and strong theme that the story held of never giving up on your dreams. This is a book I would proudly have in my classroom. Nothing Stops Sophie, the story of unshakable mathematician Sophie Germain, is a story of the self-taught mathematician Sophie Germain. This book is a narrative style written biography that I believe would be appropriate for fourth and fifth graders who on average range from ages nine to 11. <clears throat> the story begins in Sophie's childhood in Paris during the French Revolution. We learn that she had to study math in secret growing up and later actually had to submit homework to university under a male pen name all because she was a woman. Through Barbara McClintock's intricate pen and ink, watercolor, and collage illustrations, we see Sophie's journey unfold into how she became the first woman to win a grand prize from France's distinguished Royal Academy of Sciences. Today we thank and acknowledge Sophie Germain for her sound vibration equation that won the award for helping to construct buildings such as the Eiffel Tower and multiple contemporary skyscrapers and bridges. I highly recommend this non-fictional bi biography for young readers because of the powerful message of not letting anything stop you from pursuing your passions. Each time Sophie faced a new challenge, Bardot writes, but nothing stopped Sophie to help illustrate her persistence in ultimately accomplishing the said impossible. Bardot also writes, and om writes almost lyrically about math, using repetition and imagery, which I think can really help connect to children. She tries to relate a complex subject like math by explaining it to be a thing of wonder and beauty. However, what really makes this a great nonfiction story for children are the illustrations. Barbara McClintock really brings to life the story of Sophie Germain in a fun and creative way while still respecting the setting of the story. McClintock truly extends the text by making math visible on every single page. She uses collages, collages of pages from old math and physics books, handwritten notes by Sophie Germain, and colorful arrays of numbers and equations to represent Sophie's wandering mind. After reading the story, it is no surprise to me why this or book received such high praise and the awards that it did. I personally did not know of Sophie Germain before reading this story, but I'm so grateful that I've gotten the experience to learn about her. There are so many incredible women who, have, who go unappreciated by today's youth and adults. It is important, especially for young girls, to have real life scholarly role models whose story can help inspire them to keep pursuing male-dominated industries. Thank you.